Hey guys, welcome to the fifth part of how to host a Rust dedicated server with Oxide mods and plugins. And this is the fifth part to where we're going to be showing you how to have other players, aside from you, connect to your server. Uh, either through private networks or put it on the list of the dedicated servers. Now, right now, if you wanted to be on the list, you're going to be going under community. Um, but since you have Oxide installed, it may actually show up under the modded area. Now, mine's not going to show up there, unfortunately. The first thing you want to do, if you want anybody on your network, local area network, say you have three other roommates, all of them have computers, and you all are on the same you know, modem and router, and you're hosting a server, if you want them to connect to yours, just go to the console and then type, have them type in your computer's IP address. Um, Net.connect space your computer's IP address which mine will be 135 the end and then the colon server port 28015 you type that in there aside from the 135 that may differ for you and then anybody on your network will join no problems you're good to go unless you have a server password then it'll it'll be prompted for them to put in the password but other than that you're good to go that's how you get that one working but if you have a router by default your router is meant to keep people out of your network so they can't just type in that server address and then the port and connect to your stuff unless you open the ports for them. Now, as you saw, the port number is 28015. Uh, you have to open that port specifically for other people to connect to you. Now, hopefully this is it for you and then you're, after you open the ports, that will show your server up on the list because you are connected to Steam. If it says... If it says Steam Server Connected and Steam Secure, that means you're on the list. You can potentially be on this. They're allowing you to be on the list. So you just got to show up on the list, which I'll show you how to do that. That's port forwarding on your router. So depending on what router you have, it may differ for you, but um, generally it's all the same. First off, open your internet, and what you're going to type in is or your router IP address. Most commonly... Uh, for what I have as a Linksys 192.168.1.1 that'll prompt you to put in your router's username and password if you've never messed with it and, and nobody you think has ever messed with it to log in should just be admin for username and the password should be admin and then once you log in it'll show you uh, this is what it would normally look like to port forward you want to actually go ahead and hit applications and gaming uh, once it loads up here this is where you can see the ports uh, what you're going to type uh, is just a description of what your what port you're opening and what reason for just let's just say rust like it's there um, external internal external port and internal port um, that is just going to be the port number so you want to go 28015 Tab 28015. Protocol both, just in case T or TCP and UDP try to connect. Um, and then you're going to put in your computer's IP address, which again, mine was 135. 182.168.1135. The port number, Rust, enable it, and then save changes. When you save changes and it successfully refreshes, you will see nothing changed. It's enabled. Bam. Load up Rust, play game. As long as your servers are running, and then check modded, check community, see if your server's up there by hitting ping and filtering it out to the top. If your modem is allowing your router for, to have those ports open, then anybody could join your stuff, and you're good to go, and you can play with friends and whatnot, and it's fun. But be careful for DDoS attacks. Um, lots of hackers try to do that, so just be careful. Look, Google it. Google how to secure yourself on that part of it. But if that works for you, awesome. You're good to go. You don't have to watch any more of this video, and you are good to go. Just go ahead and subscribe and everything. But if it's still not showing up on the list for you, potentially this could be your problem as well. Your modem isn't allowing your router to forward those ports, which happened to me. Unfortunately, no one really tells you this, and I had to do a lot of experimentation to figure this out. And uh, what you want to do after you do this making sure this is good log into your modem which my modems IP address 192.168.100 and then point one log in here and then go ahead and you can hit wireless and then bam I am here in my modem so again if you have an Aris modem and you haven't messed with anything your username should be admin and your password should be password. 
all lowercase. So once you've logged into it, uh, this is how you forward the ports through your modem. You want to go ahead and hit firewall. Uh, what you want to go to do the port forwarding here is go to virtual servers and then you're going to want to add your server. Now this is where you need to open your routers port and to do this go a new tab and load up your router and your modem in two different tabs. Go to status of your router. It would be the, its internet IP address 192.168.0.3. So remember that. You're going to go ahead and add type in rust port rust port 28015 28015 TCP both now you put in your router's IP address 192.168.0.3 local port same thing if you've done it correctly you add the virtual server and then bam you got it you forwarded that port as far as this is, you're good. You can log out, load back up Rust, hit play game, make sure your server's up and running, check community, check modded, see if you're up there. It'll be whatever you named your server if you haven't changed it at all. And if you see it, uh, awesome. If not, I'll show you since that's it. So, as you see, I can't do this for anybody. I can't on my current local internet. Uh, w the reason it's not showing up for me is because I have Time Warner cable. Uh, or Comcast in some other areas of the world and um, what happens is before the internet even gets to my modem uh, they aren't allowing any of my ports to be opened like that so uh, what I have to do to get if I ever want you guys to join a private server that I'm hosting off my computer I have to call my internet provider and ask them if they can open the specific ports for Rust or 28015 if you're experiencing the same stuff as me then I'm sorry uh, there's one other thing you can do. Uh, this is basically just for friends, is downloading a program called Hamachi. Now this basically, in a nutshell, tricks uh, your computer of your friends to make it think that they're on your local area connection. So that will allow them to type in your IP address. So it'll allow them to either type in your IP address, which is, you can just go what, whatsmyip.com or ipchicken.com and it'll tell you yours. Uh, they'll be able to type in that colon the port number they would probably type in for me 25.148.64.109 colon 28015 but at the beginning of that they want they need to do nets.connect and then boom they type in my IP colon the port number as long as they have an Hamachi account download it set it up once you do it click the power button this probably won't be there what you do is network create a new network it'll pop up this and you just type in a network ID that your friends can easily find um, this is what they're going to be using to find you. So mine would be Scrapyard Films. Uh, and then uh, you put a password for it. And when your friends want to go to it, they go to Network, Join Network, type in whatever it is. Mine would be Scrapyard Films, the password for it, and join. And then, bang, they'll appear under here, and you'll be good to go. So once they're under here, you all are connected through Hamachi. Go ahead and load up Rust. Have them type in your IP address. And then the port number, as long as your server's up and running, just like that. And then they will be able to join you. Other than that, you guys are officially good. You're good to go. You can run your own server. You can run mods on it. You can be admins on it. You have links to all the commands. You have all the programs you need to download. Have fun. Enjoy Rust. If you haven't got the real game, buy it. It's 20 bucks. It helps the guy out. It's great. Other than that, Thank you guys for bearing with me through this long tutorial video. It's fun making it. Um, if you guys appreciate that, you know, it helps me out by just clicking any of the links and downloading any of the files and subscribing. Just do any of that for me multiple times. That'd be awesome. Add me on Steam. It's Josh is down, and we'll play together. But instead of spaces, it's underscores. And I'll link all that in the description for you again. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. And I hope, I hope you learned a lot. And if you've got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you got any other questions that I can't answer, I'll redirect you to the Oxide forums because they are much better than I am at this. I just haven't seen any videos, and I'd like to. That's why I made it to help you guys out.